Hey, what's up, guys? We're back with uh, another fundamental series focused around uh, synthesis, and this one is about filters. And uh, basically, what a filter is is it uh, gets rid of unwanted uh, frequencies above a certain point. Um, it's basically the building block of an EQ, um, but uh, it's used in synthesis to kind of shape the audio. Um, and we're going to be going over uh, the basic filter types, uh, filter slopes, um, resonance, self-oscillation, digital versus analog, and a bunch of other fun stuff. Um, and, you know, filters are just as important as oscillators. And I'm going to show you an example right now of just how powerful uh, a filter can be. So what we have, uh, we have a sine wave or square wave. Right, and uh, what we're going to do is use a filter, and we can actually turn that into uh, a sine wave. So a square into a sine. Right. So that just kind of shows what a filter can do um, abstractly. Um, there's a bunch of filter types. Uh, we have uh, a combination of comb filters in our mouth. Um, and that's how we talk. Uh, we open and we change the shape of the inside of our face. Um, that's how we communicate with vowels and such. I have a kitty. Um, you can also experience a low pass filter uh, underwater. Um, it gets rid of all the high frequencies and um, you only hear the lows. When you plug your ears, um, you can only hear the lows. All the high frequencies uh, don't pass through your vocal cords, um, I mean your throat, up through the top of your head into your ears, only the low frequencies do. So yeah, basically that is it. And we shall continue with some cool examples and uh, practical uses and such. All right, hold tight. <laughs> 